Want the good, want the bad, all the feelings Want you happy and sad in between them If there's one thing I truly believe in Ordinary love, ordinary love So, did a little stock up on meat and here we are so let's start down here with the big one a half side of lamb i get these probably every about once or twice a year when they go on special sometimes they go as low as like 5.99 as a one day or only special but um i grabbed this one this is almost four kilos of lamb for 41 dollars lots of little off cuts a nice roast this will do many many meals i'll let you know exactly how many it makes when i break it up I also got these pork loin steaks because they were uh, $12 a kilo, so not great. But I looked at it and went, we use about four for a meal. So if there's four, 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 there's three meals there. That'll be good. I got a pork mince, 500 grams for four fifty. Can't beat that. I got a garlic powder, which were $4 each and now for 30 so I grabbed that because I used the powder in my scrambled eggs. I won't have to buy this very soon, but I did grab that. I got these cheese crank skis because I'm doing a cheese board for a girlfriend's birthday party. Nice and cheap. I got some brie in a hole you will see. Or we'll, we'll see. I don't know. I haven't... I don't, even, I don't even remember if I recorded it, but I got a couple of things of brie for $1.50. So this brie, some gluten-free crackers, they'll be perfect. And then I got some pork bellies for $9.99 a kilo, which is what I went for. It is date night tonight. We are going to sit and watch a um, new release movie on the TV, and we are going to have a nice dinner so this is going to be our dinner a bit of pork belly i'm about to cook this up and score this and make this beautiful and then i grabbed another one for the freezer for another night this should do my family one meal completely easy so without totaling it all up how much do you think i spent pause and drop down in the comments below how much you think i spent now and i'll tell you so this was one hundred and six dollars and twenty four cents. Oh, there you go. One hundred and six dollars and twenty four cents. See it? Pork belly, pork belly, mince, half side, pork loin steaks, garlic powder, and the crank skis. I really hate saying that. For just over a hundred dollars, I don't think that's too bad, especially because one, two, three meals, probably at least six meals here. Seven, eight, nine say 10 let's say 10 to make it easy that'd be 10 bucks of meat per meal and i don't think that's too bad for a family of five we'll see actually how many i got out of this maybe even less Want the good, want the bad, all the feelings Want you happy and sad in between them If there's one thing I truly believe in Ordinary love, ordinary love I wanna all asleep in your shirt So I have my usual onions chopped up at the bottom Just one brown onion A couple of star anise seed or uh, anise seed stars, whatever you call them some pepper, I couldn't find my white pepper so we're using black and just a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Now I'm going to add some water to, oh and um, chicken stock cubes, I use the sevens because they're my favourite. Um, or you could just use homemade chicken stock but this calls for just a little bit and I couldn't be bothered and this is nice. Um, now I'm going to add a little water to the bottom of this and then I'm going to lay my pork over the top. As you can see I have Scored it nice and deep, it's beautiful. I'm gonna cook this at 160 fan force for about two hours. I'll keep checking on it with foil on top to let it steam. And then I'm gonna turn it up to probably two to 10 um, at for about half an hour to, with some salt and some oil on top to crisp up the skin. Wanna fix, wanna heal where it's sudden Gonna put out the fire where it's burning I will be there with all of my being 
Banging in the background, my baby's in the top of our cupboard, but he's mostly quiet, so let's take it as it is. I've pulled apart the side of lamb, and this is what we've got. We've got this small lamb roast. I picked one with a small roast, and it's got this little shank on the oh sorry, shank on the side here. Um, we have this is a bit of a rib bit. We have a bit of a rib bit here. We have some chops. And some little cutlets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cutlets. We've got a couple of like off cutty bits here. And I'm pretty sure these are little neck bits. So they could be for stew. So we've got something for stew. We've got some little off cuts. Look, off cuts. <coughs> cutlets that I can crumb or marinate. I've got some lamb chops and got some ribs here. As you can see. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. I will bag them up into what I think will be a meal-sized portion for my family, and I'll let you know how many. So we final have. count: we have a roast. I have some. I cut all the meat off of the not awesome pieces, and now we have some for a curry or a stew. I have left some um, fat still on those. I can go through and take that off in a minute, but I just wanted to see how much I got. So we've got enough for a curry or a stew. We've got four cutlets, four cutlets, because that'll be for hubby and me, or just for hubby. Um, and then the kids will have something else. We have these two, which again will be just for a single meal. These are the off cuts of bones, fat, gristle, all of that, that I can do for a stock. This will probably be for hubby. This is just a lamb ribs with an extra some extra meat on it. And we got five chop so that'll be a chop meal so one meal two meals three meals and then one two three four two, one to two people meals so there we go not too bad now i'm gonna bag all, all right so we got capsicum carrot uh cabbage lettuce the pork belly the rice noodles which are sitting waiting for hot water and a vietnamese style tangy dressing for salad and slaw so that's what we're gonna use. That's gonna be dinner. The baby came along and turned the heat up at one point, so some, the outside onions burned, but this looks fine, except for like just the edge here, just a little bit over. <laughs> Happy and sad in between them. Um.